Hello friends, are you on antidepressant medication or know someone who is? Well, here's something that may shock you. Researchers discovered that over two thirds of people taking antidepressants do not actually have depression because they do not meet the official criteria for depression. Listen to this. The study analyzed those taking selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, known as SSRIs. 69% of the people taking them did not meet the criteria for clinical depression. And 38% did not meet the criteria for other mental conditions that they were taking the pills for, like anxiety. The conclusion? Drugs are prescribed without an evidence based diagnosis. The research investigators looked at those taking SSRIs, the most commonly prescribed type of antidepressant. Now, I'll tell you the most common ones. Celexa, Lexapro, Prozac, Paxil, and Zoloft. Are you taking one of these? Listen carefully. Clinical depression is distinct from temporary feelings of sadness. Way too many people are given antidepressants for other conditions in addition to feeling blue or sad, and those are anxiety, fearfulness, insomnia, and even hot flashes. Wow! Regarding feeling blue, the head doctor doing the research said, we all experience periods of stress, sadness, and self-doubt. He said these don't make us mentally ill, they define us as human. The official guidelines say that clinical depression is diagnosed if a person has five or more depressive symptoms most of the day, nearly every day, over a two-week period. What are the symptoms? A depressed mood, loss of interest or pleasure in activities. Now remember, you have to have five or more of these. Weight loss or changes in appetite, insomnia, increased desire to sleep, slowed behavior, loss of energy, feelings of worthlessness or excessive guilt, and thoughts of death or suicide. Are you having five or more of these most of the day, every day, and you're on an antidepressant? Okay, but if not, ask your doctor if you really need to be on these meds. Now I'll tell you how they work. They work on the serotonin in the brain. It's a neurotransmitter that has a good influence on mood, emotion, and sleep. And after carrying its message, serotonin is usually reabsorbed by the nerve cells, and this is known as reuptake. SSRIs block reuptake, so the serotonin remains in your brain, but they're not increasing the amount of serotonin you make. They're just keeping it going round and round and round in your body instead of being reabsorbed. There's other things you can do that will raise serotonin levels. More bad news. Pregnant? Another study found that women who take antidepressants during pregnancy are more likely to have a baby with autism. Adolescent? Research found that young adults taking antidepressants like Prozac have double the risk of suicidal behavior. What type of medicine is being practiced here? Are there other things you can do to help yourself? Yes, there are. See my depression blog at the link below for natural ways to combat depressed feelings. Or you can write to me and I'll send it to you and put it right in your hands. Don't be one of the 69% who is taking an SSRI without really needing it. I care about you.